Turkey is considered to be one of the first countries in the world in terms of television series export, with a turnover of more than $200 million a year and the audience in more than 100 countries. Certainly one of the most successful Turkish television series, Suleiman the Magnificent, it was broadcasted in more than 40 countries and about 200 million viewers were glued to their screens. By the way, non-Turkish films are also filmed in Turkey. Filmmakers say that Turkey is an ideal country for shooting movies of any genre. Its natural scenery attracts the viewer's attention and creates a certain atmosphere that the film exactly needs. A lot of movies and TV shows Turkish entertainers make jointly with foreign colleagues, including the Kazakhstani directors. Turkey is a friendly country for Kazakhstan. That is why once we are in Turkey, we, the people of Kazakhstan, as soon as we turn on the TV, we are not only informed about the latest developments of our country, but also we are able to watch our domestic films, concerts of our favorite artists, programs in the Kazakh language. Broadcasting in the Kazakh language takes several hours of daily air time at the channel TRT Avaz, which is a part of the TRT Television and Radio Corporation. State Radio and Television Corporation TRT was founded in 1964. It occupies a leading position in the Turkish broadcasting market. And today in the program Persona Grata, we will introduce you to its general director, Mr. Shanol Goka. Kazakistan'la yeni ilişkiye başlamış değiliz özellikle medya alanında. E, TRT kurulduğundan bu tarafa Kazakça yayınlarını sürdürüyor. Relationships between Kazakhstan and Turkey, especially in TV, are not new. From the very first days of TRT Foundation, we broadcast in Kazakh language, especially on the radio. Before we started on short waves, but at the same time, with the creation of the TV channel TRT Avas, which is a Turkic language channel, we continue to broadcast on TV and on FM. Ama hem radyo açısından, hem televizyon açısından, hem de web sitesiyle If we can come to an agreement at some point, for example on the issue of inclusion of our cable networks, and if we can accept mutual prompt decision, then we can talk about opening a representative office of TRT in Kazakhstan. Now we are planning to prepare for it. We believe it is necessary. We started some actions to implement this plan. We hope that these plans are feasible. Now, if we will talk about timing, it is difficult. We are planning to enter into the cable network in Kazakhstan with only one channel, TRT, but use other channels of TRT network. Earlier, when we met with representatives of Kazakhstan, we saw how slowly, step by step, we are going to implement this plan. In perspective, we want to create and broadcast pleasing projects that will help in promoting the culture of our country and will strengthen relations between the two countries. If we can achieve good results from our negotiations, then in the short period of time, we plan to implement our plans. Kazakistan'dan etkilenmek için bizim ziyaret etmemiz gerekmiyor. Kazakistan'ı biz gönül gözüyle de görüyoruz. I have not been to Kazakhstan yet, but I think that in order to be impressed by Kazakhstan, it is not necessary to visit it. We see Kazakhstan through the eyes of our soul. Kazakhstan is one of the constituent parts of our history. Therefore, to have an idea about it or to have positive feelings about Kazakhstan, it is not necessary to visit it. It is in our heart. 
Of course, I plan to go to Kazakhstan. Of course, I will contribute to the development of relations with Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is our brotherly nation, and we see it and feel it with our soul. I believe that the day-by-day -day ties between our nations grow stronger. Television is sometimes compared to surgery in the field of consciousness and everything should be done with caution and regardless of whether you're getting paid for the surgery or not, you still need to do this as if you gave a promise. After all, it is a great responsibility before everyone who turned on your channel. And a big and coherent family of TRT understands it. Ülkelerin kamu yayıncılarının özel bir misyonu vardır. Özel bir misyon öncelikle Today in every country the public television has a mission. This mission is primarily aimed at the country's citizens and secondly on the international stage to show the country and thereby to strengthen cultural relations among countries. We are trying to strengthen our relations with other countries and cultures. This is one of the main missions of TRT. Bir taraftan serbest kamuoyu oluşumunu kendi ülkemizde gerçekleştirmeye gayret ederiz. Bir taraftan da ülkemizin diğer ülkelerle ve diğer kültürlerle bağını of course, there are some responsibilities that are assigned to TRT in the development of the state, since we are a public TV. Devletin genel yapılanmasında TRT yüklenmiştir kamu yayıncısı olduğu için. Ama bunu bu şekilde özetleyebilirim. Öncelikle kendi kamuoyumuzu. In brief, we can say that public TV contributes to the creation of an independent society and presents the country, especially on the international arena, thus contributing to the development of friendship and brotherhood in the world. Katkıda bulunacak şekilde de kültürler arası bağı güçlendirmek gibi bir görevimiz var. A unique mission of TV is to show what is happening and sometimes even influence the events. What we see on the screen, it is not a frozen picture and action. And it may be controversial, good for some and bad for others. And the event happening on the screen, this is a story that changes the one who watches it. Mr. Chanel Goka was attracted by this mission for a long time, and he went on to pursue it purposefully, diligently and patiently. Yazar olmak. I was constantly writing and drawing. I did not leave the idea of becoming a writer. I wanted to express myself and get people to know me and my work. At that time, in addition to TRT, there were no more other TV and radio. My idea was to increase my target audience, and then I had the idea that I should start working on TRT. Ve sanırım o zamanlar TRT'ye girmek çok zordu. At that time it was very difficult to get into the TRT. There were many people who were interested in working there. We even had the examination. There were many competitors. As far as I remember, it was 1985 or 1986, the month of October. TRT held an exam for the position of assistant director. 10,000 applications were accepted, and we only had 37 people who were able to successfully pass the exam. It was not the only one examination, there were several stages. We were given the opportunity to learn in the courses for TRT staff. Upon completion of these courses, again the selection was conducted. This figure dropped to 27 or 28 people. Of course, those who won were really serious about it and were set up and prepared. I was among them. Yani bu konuda çok hevesli, bu konuda çok birikim elde etmek isteyen, bu konuyu mutlaka bir biçimde çok ciddi alan arkadaşlarımızdı tabii o kazanan arkadaşlarımız. Ben de bunlardan birisiyim. Antalya'da başladım. I started working in Antalya as an assistant director. I worked for three years on that position. Later I became a director, a program director. 
but we still could not say that we completely have our craft together, because to become an expert in your field, you need a lot of time and experience. Yes, let's say we have learned a lot, but it is not that important. The main thing is to be able to put it into practice. In order to confirm our knowledge as a director, we again had exams. Only three years later we passed the exam and finally became directors. Mr. Shinol Goka at some point left the media sphere and began to work in the government of Turkey. However, in the spring of 2014, he returned to the media corporation for the post of deputy director general, and in the fall he became the head of the largest television and radio corporation in Turkey. Yani durum neyi gerektiriyorsa öyle olduğunu sanıyorum. Yani genel olarak zaten hiç kimseye siz sert misiniz, yumuşak mısınız, yumuşak kalpli misiniz yoksa acımasız mısınız? I think I treat my team as the situation requires it. I don't think that someone can be only harsh or only nice. Each person has his own method of communicating with people. If you find the right method, then you will reach mutual understanding. When you are in a place where there are a lot of people, you're afraid of getting lost in the crowd, you want to convey your thoughts and ideas to others, you want to be seen and heard. When you are challenged with a large target audience, you start looking for ways to communicate better. Most likely, that is where the starting point of mass communications begin. That is how it started with me. Shinol Goga knew exactly in what sphere he got himself into. He knew it was not just a job or a temporary hobby or a momentary inspiration. And this is exactly the way for which you always need to sacrifice something. İlham bilmiyorum yani ben bir sanatçı değilim ee, onun için e, ilham belki çok benim. If I have the opportunity, I always try to devote my time to my family. I want to be with my family. So as usual, we cannot spend enough time together. Yes, sometimes we, the employees of TV, have to work a lot, leaving our families without our care and attention. Therefore, from time to time, it is necessary to ask for forgiveness from each other for not paying enough attention to our loved ones. Yes, public affairs overshadow personal relationships. As leaders, we take responsibility, trying to solve other people's problems. You feel responsible for many things. Social responsibility and expectation from you is always present, but I think that my family understands this. Sometimes we feel these gaps, but it is not enough. I am upset that I am not able to spend much time with my family. But on the other hand, when I am working, I completely surrender myself to my job. This gives me a moral satisfaction. My late mother always said, Son, never complain about your work. Your hands and feet are okay, and your eyes can see. You're alive and well. Do everything in your power and never complain about your life. That's why I never complain. I'm just constantly apologizing to my family. Mr. Shinol Goka is happy to have such a thirst to live and to do what he loves. He sincerely smiles at any event that comes his way. This was Persona Grata. See you soon.